have to speak about the last and final prophet, the Antim Rishi. It's mentioned in the Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhyay 3, Shlokas 10 to 27. It says that the Malaychas have spoiled the land of the Arabs. There is an enemy who's causing mischief. I will send a man by the name of Muhammad to defeat this enemy and to guide the people. Oh Raja, you need not go to the foolish land of Pishachas. I, with my grace, will purify you here. A person of injury disposition comes to Raja and says, Arya Dharm will prevail in the world. The religion of truth will prevail in the world. I have been sent by Ishwar Paramatma and my followers will be those who will be circumcised, who will not have a shandy, a tail on the head. They will grow a beard. They will create a revolution. They will give the call for prayers. They will eat all lawful things, but will not eat the flesh of swine. They will not be purified by herbs or shrubs, but will be purified by warfare. They will be called Muslims. They will be a creed of meat eaters. Now this prophecy, if you analyze, refers to no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It says that the enemies will be defeated by a man called as Muhammad. His name is mentioned, peace be upon him. And he will guide the people. And we know Prophet Muhammad led the Arabs from darkness to light. It further says that the followers of this prophet referring to the Muslims, they will be people who are circumcised. They will not have a tail on the head. They will grow a beard. They will create a revolution. They will give the call for prayer that the Azan. They will eat all lawful things, but will not eat the flesh of swine. They will not be purified by herbs and shrubs, but by warfare. They will be called Muslims. They will be a community of meat eaters. All these prophesies no one but Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers, the Muslims. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has been prophesied in several places in Bhavishya Purana. Time doesn't permit us to go into the details. I'll just give a reference of a couple. He's prophesied in Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhya 3, Shlokas 5 to 8. He's also prophesied in Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khand 1, Adhya 3, Shlokas 21 to 23. The Prophet Muhammad has even been prophesied in several places in the Atharva Ved. It's mentioned in Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 127, shlokas 1 to 14. These are called as the Kuntub Suktas. Kuntub in Sanskrit means the hidden glands in the abdomen. Referring to the meanings of the shlokas are hidden, they will be known later on. Due to shortage of time, we'll just discuss the first four in brief. The first mantra says, he will be Narashansa. He will be Kaurama. He will be protected from 60,090 enemies. Mantra number two says, he will be a camel riding Rishi. Mantra number three says, he will be Mama Rishi. Mantra number four says, he is Vashvis Reb. The first mantra says, he is Narashansa. Narashansa in Sanskrit, it derived from the word nar, meaning a man or a person. And shansa means praiseworthy. How we know in Hindi we say prashansa. So shansa is the same thing. So narashansa means a person who is praiseworthy. And if you translate Muhammad, peace be upon him, from Arabic to English, it means the praiseworthy. So narashansa is the Sanskrit translation of the Arabic word Muhammad, peace be upon him. The first mantra further says, he is Kaurama. One of the meaning of Kaurama, it means the Prince of Peace. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the Prince of Peace. The other meaning of Kaurama is an immigrant. And the Prophet migrated from Makkah to Medina. And the verse also says, he will defeat 60,090 enemies. And we know the population of Makkah that was against Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was approximately 60,000. Mantra number two says, he will be a camel riding Rishi, indicating 
he will not be an Indian Rishi, he will not be a Brahmin. Because Manusmriti, chapter number 11, verse number 202 says, a Brahmin cannot ride a camel or an ass. So this means it cannot be Indian Rishi, it cannot be a Brahmin, it has to be a foreign Rishi, a foreigner. Mantra number 3 says, he is Mama Rishi, also meaning Maharishi, means a great Rishi. Or some places it says Muhammad, that's the name of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu the fourth mantra says, he is Reb. Reb means one who praises. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was also called as Ahmad. May peace be upon him. Which means one who praises. And the Prophet was called the one who praises, which is the translation of the Sanskrit word, Reb. He has been prophesied in several other places in Atharva Ved. He is also prophesied in Atharva Ved, book number 20. Hymn number 21, verse number 6. It says that a karu, meaning the praiseworthy man, he will defeat 10,000 enemies without a battle. This refers to the Battle of Azab, the Battle of Khandak, which Prophet Muhammad we know that he was the one who was praiseworthy. And he won the Battle of Khandak, Battle of Azab, in which the enemies were approximately 10,000 without the battle being fought. He is also prophesied in Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 7, saying that the Abandu, by God's help, will defeat 20 chiefs. Abandu means an orphan. It also means one who praises. Both of this refer to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he will defeat 20 chiefs. We know from history that approximately in Makkah, there were approximately 20 tribes. So Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he won the Battle of Makkah and defeated all these 20 chiefs. Prophet Muhammad is even prophesied in Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 53, verse number nine. The same prophecy, but the word is changed. It's called as Sushrama. And Sushrama again means one who praises. The translation of the word Muhammad The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is also prophesied in the Psalm Ved in Agni Mantra number 64. It says that he will not be fed by his mother. His mother will not breastfeed him. And after that, he'll become a prophet. And we know it was Arab custom that the children are normally breastfed by the wet nurse. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was breastfed by Halima. May Allah please with her. There are various prophecies of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in several places in the Vedas. He is also prophesied in Psalm Ved, in Uttarchik, mantra number 1500. It says that Ahmad will be given the eternal law. Ahmad, as I mentioned earlier, is another name for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, meaning one who praises. He will be given the eternal law, referring to the Quran. Psalm Ved says, he has been given the eternal law. But since Ahmad is a non-Sanskrit word, the translators could not understand what is the meaning of Ahmad. So they broke the word into Ah and Miti. And now they translate as I alone. So it means I alone have been given eternal law. So if you read the translation, it says I alone have been given the eternal law. But actually it should read as Ahmad has been given the eternal law. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi has been prophesied as Ahmad in several places in the Vedas. He's also prophesied in the Vedas, in Psalm Ved, in Indra, mantra number 152. He's prophesied in Yajur Ved, chapter number 31, verse number 18. He's prophesied in Rig Ved, book number 8, hymn number 6, verse number 10. In Atharva Ved, book number 8, hymn number 5, verse number 16. In Atharva Ved, book number 20, Hymn number 126, verse number 14. In several places, he has been prophesied as Ahmad, which was another name of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the one who praises. Furthermore, the last and final messenger has been prophesied as Narashangsa in several places in the Vedas. As I mentioned earlier, Narashangsa is derived from the word Nar, meaning a person or man, and Shansa as Prashansa means a praiseworthy. A man who is praiseworthy, which is exactly the translation 
of the Arabic word Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has been prophesied as Narashangsa, as Muhammad, peace be upon him, in several places in the Vedas. He's prophesied in Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 13, verse number three, in Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 18, verse number nine, in Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 106, verse number four, in Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 142, verse number three, in Rig Ved, book number two, hymn number three, verse number two, in Rig Ved, Book number five, hymn number five, verse number two. In Rig Ved, book number seven, hymn number two, verse number two. In Rig Ved, book number ten, hymn number sixty-four, verse number three. In Rig Ved, book number ten, hymn number one eighty-two, verse number two. In Yajur Ved, chapter number twenty, verse number thirty-seven. Yajur Ved, chapter number twenty, verse number fifty-seven. Yajur Ved, chapter number twenty-one, verse number thirty-one. Yajur Ved, chapter number twenty-one, verse number fifty-five. Yajur Ved, chapter number 28, verse number 2. Yajur Ved, chapter number 28, verse number 19. Yajur Ved, chapter number 28, verse number 42. You can keep on quoting only references. He's been mentioned as Narashansa in several places in the Vedas. You can only give a talk for several hours together about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, mentioned in the Hindu scriptures.